Well, good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Tom Schleter with Tom's Take. Well, I'm actually speaking to you on Thursday, and I will broadcast this and put it out on YouTube tomorrow morning on Friday. But I'm not going to be able to do my, my recording tomorrow. Uh, my wife Kay and I are heading out here in about an hour uh, to go to Pittsburgh and then on to Altoona, Pennsylvania to be with Clay Nash and his Josiah Convocation, which is taking place Friday evening and Saturday morning there in Pennsylvania. We really appreciate your prayers. It's going to be a very significant time of proclaiming God's emancipation of our nation and bringing us into freedom. It's going to be a tremendous time with the Lord. Second thing that I'd like to mention to you is this morning when I did my Tom's Take this morning, I was telling you about Sukkot, Sukkot and about how God requires them in the midst of this Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles, to rejoice, to be glad, even in the midst of war, even in the midst of tribulation. How amazing that just four hours after I recorded that, and I'm not saying it was because I recorded it, but a four hours after I recorded being joyful in the midst of this, in the midst especially of Israel, in the midst of war, they're not only able to find, but to take care of, to get rid of, the mastermind behind last year's October 7th massacre that took place in Israel. I was watching the news, and all of Tel Aviv was out in the streets dancing and joyful, playing instruments, beating drums, and proclaiming their joy to the Lord. We are in such a time. The thought that I wanted to share with you this time, though, very short, but you need to hear it. Many of you may have been able to hear the interview that uh, Vice President Harris had with Brett Baer yesterday on Fox News. I laughed my way through it, literally, because it was obvious that she could not answer any questions straight. But yet she kept on profusely saying, you don't know what is true. You don't know the truth. And Brett Baer kept on coming back and saying, but these are the facts. I had several people that gave comment on it uh, on uh, Facebook and even through signal uh, messages that we receive on a regular basis. And it was obvious that her, her whole strategy was to just talk and talk and talk and not allow Brett Baer to answer any more questions or even to clarify with facts what she had been espousing. The phrase came to me this morning, and you've all heard this, I'm speaking the truth. Don't confuse me with the facts. I'm speaking the truth. Don't confuse me with the facts. One person's truth may be what they believe, but the facts will always bear out the fact always bear out what is actually true. And so we need to continue to pray for God's truth and his facts on all the issues to be revealed. Because those facts will reveal and expose the plots and plans of the enemy to try to deceive us. The passage from Colossians 2, starting with verse 4, comes to mind. I tell you this so that no one may deceive you by fine-sounding arguments. For though I am absent from you in body, I am present with you in spirit and delight to see how disciplined you are and how firm your faith in Christ is. So then, just as you have received Christ, Jesus, as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught and overflowing with thankfulness. Here's the key. See to it that no one takes you captive, captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and on the elemental spiritual forces of this world rather than on Christ. For in Christ all the fullness of the body, all the fullness of the, excuse me, all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. And in Christ you have been brought to fullness. He is the head 
over every power and authority. We need to understand that God deliberates truth. He's the one who brings forth the facts. And I'm not going to just pick on one side here. All across the political realm and the religious realm, we are finding our lives inundated by what we think this is the truth, based on our human reasoning or our emotions or the traditions of man or the traditions of religion. And God says, I'm about ready to turn you on your head. I'm about ready to reveal to you what is truly truth. So don't come to me, he says, saying you know the truth when you don't know the facts. Because the Lord will reveal his facts in this hour. He will reveal what is important and where he is taking us as his ecclesia to manifest victory for his kingdom. I want you all to have a continual, beautiful Sukkot. Live in his presence. Get into his place. And listen carefully to what the Spirit of the Lord is revealing to you regarding his truth. Blessings to you, and I will be with you again on Monday. Bye-bye.